everyone, welcome back to our vegan dining room. We are We're fresh off of Halloween. Yes, we it have is the a day Halloween after. hangover, and we didn't even drink. <laughs> well, I mean, like a it's an emotional hangover. Yeah, I know. All right, so we're going to tell you all about, even if you don't want to know, our October favorite. Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. We thought it would be fun. Yeah. All right, we have a few different categories. First, let's start with, like, the actual vegan stuff. Okay. Because <laughs> we have, like, vegan food and, um, like, beauty products. Yes. And then we go off the rails a little bit because, you know, we can't not talk about TV and stuff I like mean, that. I mean, we do have an entertainment, cha an entertainment channel. Yeah. So we'll so. get to that in a bit. But first, let's talk about some of our favorite vegan food and drink. All right. <laughs> What's okay. first? First up, I have been loving these vegan pepper jack melts anything vegan i don't know it's focusing let's see well why don't we do that there we go vegan pepper jack melts uh we've had the cheddar we've had the mozzarella the pepper jack is just as good amazing yes it's i think it's new does it say it's new um maybe it's just new to our it might store just, yeah i think it might just be new to us i don't, I don't know they also they have shreddies in all of the different varieties also they also have uh the pepper jack shreddies yeah i have to say nice. i really enjoy vivin and while we're on the topic of cheese i also have to give a shout out to aldi because their vegan cheeses are really delicious and cheap, and cheap. Yeah, I especially love the cheddar shreds. I call them cheddar shreddies. Right, um, they also have mozzarella shreddies. Mm -hmm. And they used to have the sliced cheddar. Yeah. But they don't have they don't it have anymore. anymore. At least not at our Aldi, which is a damn shame because it was delicious. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm ready to buy these now. Like, I finished up all my other Sorry, we don't have them anymore. Get out. But at least they still have the shreddies because yeah. it's everything. Yeah. But <laughs> next up... Let's talk about these. Oh, Jack and Annie's. Mm. These are so good. These are jackfruit uh, chicken nuggets. Chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. Yeah. And they're great. This one's empty because we ate it. Yeah, we <laughs> just had these yesterday. We had them. I had a few again today with my lunch. You would never, ever think that this was jackfruit. No. Because we've had jackfruit. We've yeah. made jackfruit. This was did not taste like jackfruit whatsoever. We mm -hmm. have a very aggressive chewer under the table. Sorry. It's the only way they'll stay quiet. Mm. Well, Lucy's a good girl. Bo right. is uppity. These aren't <laughs> these are vegan, but yes. they aren't um, They're not gluten free. No. But if you only are sensitive to gluten and not like celiac, just the coating is uh, wheat. Mm -hmm. So you might be able to eat it. The and, texture yeah. is great. The taste is great. In the air fryer, mwah, chef's yes, kiss. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about your homemade oh. sourdough bread. Oh, I don't have it right now. That's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating it. Right. One is proofing right now because I'm actually going to bake it off tonight. But um, I didn't keep up with it all summer because it's hot and mm -hmm. we don't have central air yeah so i'm not Can't turning turn on that oven all the i'm time. not turning up the oven to 500 degrees in the summertime oh my god i know so um now that the weather is cool again everyone's enjoying the sourdough it's and, bread season baby and it's better than ever baby it's back and better than ever you're even doing some fancy designs fancy on the little top. cuts my goodness. I know. Who am I? British Bake Off, Paul uh -huh. Hollywood. <laughs> yes, handshake for sure. Um, okay, let's talk about a little treat. Oh, the Blake's <gasps> Seed-Based Rice Krispie Treats. Yes. These are uh, nothing short of deliciously amazing. We spotted these at Sam's Club one day randomly. We were just walking down the aisles, and we were like, wow, this is fun packaging. And then we looked There's closer. There's actually three different flavors. Yes. This is the yeah. smaller box of just one flavor. Right. But we looked at the packaging and saw that it was not only vegan, gluten-free, it's got... Peanut-free, milk-free, egg-free, wheat-free, soy-free, sesame-free, and tree nut-free. Yeah. It's which allergy is... friendly. It checks all the boxes. This is like those made goods. Yeah. You know, where they're like free from. Mm -hmm. They're allergy safe. Allergy yes. friendly. And after we got them, we were like, okay, we're going to get one box and try it out. And we were just like, wow. This is amazing. And then the next time we went back, I had to get my own box. And You then, got your own case. Well, yeah, I got like 
The three it's pack. The three, it's three different flavors. This one's birthday cake. Right. There's, there's also, also chocolate. And then original. Right. So, so good. good because <laughs> uh, Rice Krispie Treats aren't vegan. Fun fact. Maybe it's not so fun. They're not even vegetarian it's because they have like animal meat stuff in like there. Like bones? something like, gelatin ooh. yeah not not a pretty picture but these beautiful okay uh next let's talk about oh these lasagna sheets yes. from our best friend aldi so these come in green and red mm -hmm. and i just made my second batch of these last night yeah with some beautiful zucchini in there and some mushrooms, and it was so simple. I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on it was delicious this channel about it because it it couldn't have been e any easier mm -hmm. because I had to crank out four pizzas last night in addition to a veggie lasagna, and this made it so doable. 11 grams of protein per serving. They're hey. gluten free, vegan, easy moderately priced i mean there were three and change for this box but it looks like a small box but it does a whole you get a lot of sheets in yeah there. you get a lot of sheets okay but so good mm -hmm. i hope that aldi please don't take these away from us <laughs> don't do it i know right they're so good yeah Love all right it. Next, we're going to talk about something that's not here right now, but Jasmine Rice. You said you have a story. Oh, yes. So for like the last 10, 15 years, my husband would always be like, oh, okay. I love basmati rice. Give me basmati. I don't want any other kinds except basmati. And everybody was like, try jasmine. You'll like it. I remember it. being like, yeah, basmati's good and all, but like, can we get some jasmine? And I made it, like, one time, and he was like, you, this isn't basmati. Where's my basmati? <laughs> so then uh, we recently started getting into Jasmine, and now he's like, I don't want any more basmati. Whoa, After I didn't know I that. After I bought 30 pounds of it. Oh, no. And I tried to sneak it in there, and he's like, this is basmati. I don't want it. Wow. Yeah. No love for the basmati. But that jasmine, though, huh? Dang, You know I didn't what? Know Just that. wait long enough and he'll be like, hey, where's oh, yeah. my basmati? I mean, if you eat enough of something, eventually you're going to get sick of it and you're going to need to, like, cycle. I got to do a disclaimer. My husband does not sound like a whiny little girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. That's for entertainment purposes only. All right. Well, he's, next up. He's very sexy. I'll just say that. He's no whiny girl. What? <laughs> let's move on, please. <laughs> okay, let's talk about one of our favorite snacks. Popcorn, popcorn, but not just any popcorn. The skinny pop popcorn. Not the one in the bag already Okay, popped. the one in the bag is great. It's fine. It's fun. I bring it to D&D &D all the time. We all love it. But there is something so special about the freshly popped skinny pop. Yes, right in the microwave. Two and a half minutes, three minutes, whatever it is. Chemical free bags. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, it's 25 calories per cup. It's just basically salt. And I think, is it like avocado oil or something? Uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head. The, this is a very good one. Like I've looked at some of the other ones and I was like, oh, who's going to eat this? This is gluten free, dairy free, peanut free, tree nut free, preservative free, no artificial flavors, zero trans fat, no PFOAs. That's that thing like in the. Um, in the nonstick pans. Oh, okay. And no diacetyl. I don't know what that is, but there is. But none it doesn't in there. have it. Yeah, so don't worry about it. But I think. Can you read the ingredients? Oh yes, I have them. Popcorn, <laughs> sunflower oil, palm oil, and sea salt. Wonderful. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about our one drink thing on the list okay. today. I right. drink almost exclusively water, seltzer, and tea. So let's talk about your hot thing in the moment. My hot thing is from Sam's Club in the, uh, it's by the ice cream. It comes in a 12 pack and it's like instant boba. Mm -hmm. So you get a little packet like this big and it's filled with like syrup and the boba balls. Oh. So you put that uh, in a container, microwave it for one minute, and then they say put ice and, like, milk to make mm -hmm. a boba-like latte. Yeah. But what I like to do, <laughs> I'll just tell you what I like to do. 
I brew a double espresso shot Whoa. over that, add twice as much ice and the milk, and I have a boba espresso latte. It's so fancy. And it is delicious, and mm. it gets me to drink so much more liquids because it's so tasty, but it's too big for one person when you do the espresso with it. Yeah. And I also did that to cut down on the sugar because, let's face it, those bobas are quite caloric. So I split it with my husband when he comes home from work, and he loves it. He's like, ooh, what's these chewy? Mm, 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 it's tapioca. Boba ball. Yeah. And he's like, what? Tapioca? <laughs> and it comes with the straws and everything. You yeah. Know, so lo- lovely. Very nice. Yes. And our last item in the food and drink category is oh, a cookbook. I just ordered, I, you know, I haven't ordered like cookbooks in the longest time. For you. For me. <laughs> so I got this. Uh, Plant, be a plant-based woman warrior. It's not just for women. It's for everyone. It's for everyone, but it's written by this mother-daughter team. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, it's not us. I wish it was. Maybe no. this is future us. <laughs> but it's uh, Jane and Anne Esselstyn. You may know them from, uh, you know, Plant Strong, I think it is. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole. it's a family business for them. The dad's cardiologist... Uh, Jane and Anne, I believe, are both uh, nurses, I think. The brother was a firefighter. Um, They all have cookbooks and everything. I just made the maple uh, oatmeal... Maple oatmeal walnut cookies. They are... This afternoon? So good. Oh, my God. I wanted to eat the whole... Our expectations <laughs> yeah. by like 10 times. Very delicious. And very easy. Mm-hmm. So like I'm looking forward to more uh, recipes out of this book. I yes. just scratched the surface. <laughs> Wonderful. But it's a great looking book too. It is. It is. And it's very highly rated on Amazon as well. Do you rate it? I have five stars. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, next up let's talk about some of our favorite vegan and cruelty free Beauty products. Oh, okay. Right over here. Okay. So first up, we have your current shampoo and conditioner. Okay. I've been using a little bit too whenever I shower over here because I use this house as my gym now yes. and my office. This <laughs> is by the Not Your Mother's Naturals brand. I don't know. I think this is new. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think I think so. They are like pretty much sold out wherever I, you know, whenever I go to see this. Because it's that good. Mm -hmm. You know on TikTok right now that flax water is the, uh, like, the ultimate. Is it? For your hair. Yes. Oh. Yes. Because my, uh, because Sean's driver told me about it. Oh, really? So, she's she's always in the know about stuff on, like, TikTok and everything because she's always on TikTok. And this is rice water him and Himalayan moringa. Mm. This is the conditioner, and it, it is, smells amazing. Smells amazing, but more importantly, it is very light. It's yes. not heavy. It's, uh, you know, conditioning, and this is um, vegan and cruelty free. Mm-hmm. So that's wonderful. And so I bought the conditioner first, and I said, "Oh, this, this is, is so good. <laughs> what is the shampoo like?" So I got a matcha green tea and wild apple blossom, which also smells unbelievably amazing. Mm-hmm. Does a wonderful job cleaning. Doesn't strip your hair too much. You know, like sometimes you, it's too harsh. Yeah. You know, especially like clarifying. This is a great balance. Yes. This has antioxidants and it's very gentle on your hair, but it still does a wonderful job and also vegan and cruelty free. And the two together... Chef's kiss. <laughs> so um, this, not the cheapest, but not the most expensive. Okay. It's mid range. Fair. Yeah. All right. Next up is our favorite this body wash cheapest. right now, and it is cheap. We save so much money on this body wash that you can afford that shampoo and not feel bad about it. This is the um, Arm and Hammer Essentials body wash. I think it comes in three or four different scents. Mm-hmm. And when my husband suggested buying this one time uh, during the pandemic when we went shopping, I was like, Arm and Hammer, honey, I'm a vegan. This isn't cruelty free and vegan. 
But it is. It is. It says it right on the front. Vegan. Yes. <laughs> and I believe it. It says. I don't know. Does it say cruelty free? I hope so. I hope so. I thought it was. But I could be wrong. But it's at least vegan. Mm-hmm. And it's dye free, paraben free. It was. I got this for ninety nine cents. Dang. For this uh, 22 and a half ounce bottle. I bought 12, so I'm all set for the year at least. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I stocked up, you know? And the it's four different scents. Some are, you know, this one's ultra moitru- moisturizing. Mm-hmm. They also have like sport fresh, whatever. Right. They you have know. a few different varieties to choose from. Yeah. To, to suit your, you know, what you like. Okay. But it's great. It works really great. So I went to the bathroom right before we started filming this, and she told me to grab the toothpaste, and I and didn't. You didn't. But let's talk about the toothpaste that you're loving. I haven't tried this one yet, but let's hear what you have to say. I'll put a picture of it right here. It's the Colgate Ultra Whitening uh, toothpaste. It's got like five percent hydrogen peroxide in it, and it's very expensive. But I got it on a really good sale, and mm-hmm. I hope that they continue to have like good sales, like so many times a year so that so I could can stock up on it. Yeah. I think it's normally like eight ninety nine, and I thought I got it for like oh my goodness. three or something like wow. that. Wow, yeah. that's a really good deal then. It was a really good deal. And it's not, it's still, it's a whitening toothpaste. It says it takes 15 years of stains off your teeth. But it's not too harsh. It's gentle on your gums. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make your teeth uh, hurt. It doesn't make the skin peel off your tongue. Like, I've had some whitening toothpaste that, that were, like, were super harsh. Quite harsh and that I bought. And my husband's like, I can't use this. Yeah. My skin is peeling off. Oh, my God. Yeah. But this one is very good. You don't get a very big tube, mm-hmm. but um, it does foam up quite a bit. So I'm, I feel like you probably don't need a lot of it. Okay. I know, I feel like a rabid dog when I'm, like, brushing and it's all, like, coming out of my mouth because it's, like, Too foaming much. up so yeah. much. But it does a really good job. Good to know. Good to See? know. See? <laughs> and our next item. Okay, so, last week we were shopping at Target, mm-hmm. the two of us and my sister, Kristen. And Ladies' day. Yes. We go shopping on Wednesdays. It's fun. Anyway, um, we were at Target and we saw that Native put out a holiday line of deodorants. And right. I already use Native. I don't, right. I think I use like some cucumber flavor or something. It's in my bag over there. But right. Whatever. Um, but I'm almost ready for a new one. And just in time, because we were smelling oh. these holiday I scents. I said, hey, look at, the, look at this. What's over here? Look they at had these, these tiny cute deodorants. little like sampler ones that you could put in somebody's stocking. But they also right. had like the full size ones too. And they had, like, candy cane, lump of coal. Yeah. Um, Reindeer or something. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, Shay. Like, all these different holiday flavors. Really cute names. And we were like, but what do they smell like? Everyone was a winner. Except the peppermint. I'm really not into yeah, peppermint. Yeah, I'm not a huge peppermint person. But <laughs> everything else, to me, was a winner. So she didn't get it. And what has she been thinking about the entire week? We literally said when we were at Target last week, I'm getting this next week. Like, Kristen and I are both getting it. I don't know if you I are, I might too. get one. Like, a little sampler. Because I, I have my oh, okay. um, in the cardboard. It just so happens. But yeah, my cardboard one is almost out. So yeah. I'm getting a new one. And I'm so excited. Unfortunately, these little sampler ones aren't in the cardboard. Mm-hmm. But... I, th- I feel like it's just like, do you like this? Well, then buy it a full-size one in the cardboard, maybe. Yeah. You know? Well, anyway, that brings us to... It's a very good vegan and cruelty-free brand, though. Yes. Yeah. We're about to go off the rails because <laughs> we're going to talk about things that have nothing to do with this channel. So, uh. before we get into the entertainment category, which is just TV shows and movies that we've been enjoying... Right. Let's talk about a few miscellaneous items okay october we love lucy's birthday of course we had a great celebration it was a lot of fun you know pets are very important they're uh they're like the babies of the family family. yes we got a baby girl we gotta you know celebrate them because uh they deserve it they give so much to us (laughs) yes um so we had a great time with that Mm -hmm. halloween obviously great time (laughs) we're still hungover and uh, fall hiking. Yes. I mean, hiking any time of year is great, but when you can peep those leaves, too. 
The colors this year were Fantastic. spectacular. Yes. And we had a really special hike. Oh, yeah. Um, a it's few on, weeks ago. It's on our TikTok. If you're yes. not following us on TikTok, it's Vegan is Fork on TikTok. We've been having a lot of fun over there. And we're going to have more. So <laughs> you should check it out because we, um, we have a lot of content over there that's not on this channel or any of yeah. the other channels. And now we're going to talk about TV. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say Rocky Horror. That's part of entertainment. I just put it in there. Oh. So, okay, obviously the movie, we we love Rocky Horror the movie, but the last two years we've been going to see a live production of Rocky Horror. And we don't mean, like, live movie with all of the accoutrements. We mean there's actual actors. Like the musical. Yeah, like right. not just, like, actors in front of the, the movie that's right. playing. It's like an actual show. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And... It's amazing. They do such a great job. Oh, so good. I'm so happy that we've made it a family tradition. And if you guys haven't seen it in the vlog yet, we talked about our latest experience with it. We were actually sitting, like, in the first... Table. First yeah, table. Yeah, it's not in a... The this one is not in a theater. It's, it's in a cabaret setting. Yes, so everybody's at tables. But we were in a table that was right in front of the action... And I seriously, it was one of the best nights of my life. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was incredible. Oh. It was so good. Yes. Uh, so many times they almost ran into us. And I loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> I'll never uh, forget it. Yes. Um, okay. Now let's talk about, we have one movie on here. We haven't been watching a ton of movies lately. We've been watching a lot of TV. Yeah. But there is one movie um, that we're going to talk about, Hocus Pocus 2. Good time. So fun. I mean, it's hard to live up to the original because the original is just so iconic. Yeah. But. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. come on. I thought this one was a lot of fun. I really liked how they modernized the story. It did suffer from oh. sequel syndrome, which is like they go for every gag that they had in the first one. I mean, they know. The same exact way. What people were looking for. So they did that. But. Um, I it just, wasn't spectacular, but but it was fun. It was a nice trip home. I love Sam Richardson so much, so yeah. I'm so glad that he was in it, and I'm glad that they brought back so much of the original cast. It felt like home. Let's let's just say that. Yeah. Okay. You know? We came home for the holidays. Yes. So before we get into like current TV, I want to talk about something that we both watched this past month. That's like old. But um, we had never seen it before. So right. the IT crowd. Oh, so good. The British one. The original. Yeah. Not the crappy American. Is there an American one? I think it lasted for like an episode or two maybe. Oh I, my gosh. I thought they were talking about it the other day. And um, we, we could not live up to it. But anyway, the original IT crowd. So funny. So ridiculously funny. So funny. And it wasn't at Chris all O'Dell. what I was expecting. Uh, Matt Berry. Yeah. The other two. <laughs> so good. Yes. Um, it was a great cast. Very funny. It was like a traditional British sitcom, which it, is fun. It's like The Office, but newer. You know? You mean The British Office? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I don't, I don't know about American Office. No, 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 no. It's like The British Office. Yeah. But newer, because like they have computers. The British Office... Was, they had computers, too. Well... <laughs> You know, it's about computers. Okay. The other one was about copiers and I it was paper. About paper. Well, paper and copiers. What do you need paper for if you don't have a copier? All right. When I think of the office, I don't think of copiers. I do. <laughs> okay. Well, on to the new stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So reality TV, of course, you know we love reality TV. So uh -huh. we've been loving <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. It's so good on streaming. No commercials. You feel like you're at a show. Oh, There's like no time to go to the bathroom. Mascara in my eye. Oh, but there is because you can pause you can it. Pause it. But um, it's been a great season so far. I feel bad that it's not getting the full viewership that it would yeah. on broadcast TV. But um, it's been a great season. If you got this, Disney Plus, check it out. This season's cast was fantastic. Yeah. There was no real, like, controversial... No, which I'm glad, I mean? yeah. They, they kept to... Um, AKA, they didn't have to have any political people on. Yeah. <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, so it's some wholesome good fun. And I think there's only, like, three weeks left. Right. They're coming to an end soon. Yeah. Um, but that's been wonderful. It's been exciting. Yes, and of course, we've been watching Survivor and Amazing Race, which is always a joy. 
not my favorite seasons, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. I mean, um, some seasons just slap, you know? Yeah. These, not so I feel much, like the yeah. last two seasons of Survivor slapped really hard, and maybe right. that's why this season isn't, like... Yeah, the last season was Quite the first one where they anyway. really, like, punched it up and were like, we're making it shorter, we're making it all these different twists and everything, which was very exciting. So maybe we were just too used to it from maybe. last season. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, let's nerd out. <laughs> let's talk about Jeopardy! Tournament of Champions. Woo! We it have only been preparing started... for this for months. I know, we've been talking about the Tournament of Champions since, like, last year it seems like yeah but um there's just been so many super champions this this season that we've been waiting for this and now it's finally here we've only had like one day so far and i'm already obsessed with it All right but oh. who are you rooting for one two three amy. amy go amy i'd love to see uh mateo win mateo mateo yeah, yeah she's great too and madame odio is great too like, yeah madame odio is good the top too. three all amazing but i just have i love amy yeah amy amy's something amy. special yeah um, another nerdy show that I have been enjoying, you not as much, you weren't really watching it. The <laughs> Lord of the Rings show, Rings of Power right. on Amazon. Oh. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not into, like, the... Fantasy? Well, I can get into fantasy, because I love Foundation, but, well, that's more like science fiction, mm -hmm. but, um... I don't know. I like the Lord of the Rings movies. The uh, the series, not so much. Well, I love the series. Well, you enjoy them. That's for you. <gasps> it's, I just love the way that they've been introducing these new characters mm -hmm. and these new places that maybe we've heard about in right. the Lord of the Rings movies. And now we get to like see them in all their glory on the show. So it's been a lot of fun. Are they sticking 100% to the source material? No. But you know what? Sometimes the source material does not lend itself to be adapted for TV. And right. I'm okay with the changes being made here and there when they do something like this. So I've been loving it. You know a show is good when it's a fantasy show like this mm -hmm. and you talk about the people on the show like they're real. Yeah. And they do <laughs> do that. Yeah, we do. So that's when you know it's good. Yeah. Um, let's talk just real quick some comedies. So, you haven't started this yet, but right. recently my fiancé and I finally started watching Abbott Elementary right. from the beginning. It was on my and list. I was going to start watching yeah. it before you, and then I got sidetracked. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to start it soon, too. <laughs> yeah. But it is so... It, it lives up to everything I've heard. It lives up to the hype. It is so funny, so clever, and it's great. Was the woman who wrote it a teacher? Um, I don't know... Because, I mean, how did she get it so right? Because Maybe I've she's got, like, friends and family that are teachers? I don't know. Consultants? I don't know, but she's a genius. It's yeah. amazing. Um, okay. And we both started recently watching The Rehearsal on HBO Max. Oh, my God. Okay, so we've been fans of Nathan Fielder. It's a whole Fielder. other level. We've been fans of Nathan Fielder Denied from the nothing. jump. Yes. Uh, his show, Nathan For You, on Comedy Central was everything. And now he's kind of, like taken that and expanded it into longer form stories right each episode's what like an hour or 40 minutes or whatever oh i don't even know about the episode length but like he's just focusing in on right like a project and really like diving in and it's very similar to what he was doing on nathan for you but it's more but more <laughs> it's more it's better it's crazier if you love it's cringe funnier. this is a great show for yeah, you yeah i do love cringe i do too <laughs> all right then so let us know all of your favorites from october remember when we said this was going to be 10 minutes what are we at it's almost see. 30 oh my god <laughs> we gotta go so thank you all so much for watching and until next time much, much love, love.